this in all my life. The excitement is growing so much. I think the, the Geiger counter of Olympomania is going to go zoink off the scale. People are coming. People are coming from around the world and they're seeing us and they're seeing the greatest city on earth, aren't they? And there are some people, there are some people who are coming from around the world who don't yet know about all the preparations we've done to get London ready in the last seven years. I hear there's a guy, there's a guy called Mitt Romney who wants to know whether, whether we're ready. He wants to know whether we're ready. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, we are. The venues are ready. The stadium is ready. The aquatic centre is ready. The velodrome is ready. The security is ready. The police are ready. The transport system is ready. And our Team GB athletes are ready, aren't they? Team GB is ready. They're going to win more gold, silver, bronze medals than you need to bail out Greece and Spain together. Let me ask you in conclusion. Can we? Final question. Are you? Can we put on? Can we put on the greatest Olympic Games that has ever been held in any city? Can we? Are we worried? Are we worried about the weather? We're not worried about the weather. Are we? Can we beat France? Yes, we can. Can we beat Australia? Yes, we can. Can we beat Germany? I think we can too. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful, wonderful London 2012. Thank you for all your support. Within two minutes, he's got 250,000 people there going, Boris, 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 including me and Lucy. And we're not natural Boris Johnson fans. You know, my, most of my political experience was working for the other Johnson, uh, the postie. <laughs> um, and so we kind of looked at each other and were like, what the hell happens there? And it, it was the drugs. It was the drugs. It got the drugs going in our, our brain. So the serotonin, you know, serotonin is the confidence drug. Isn't London amazing? Aren't we brilliant? Aren't we going to put on the most amazing, amazing Olympics? Serotonin is an incredible, powerful drug. Prozac is basically a serotonin substitute. Prozac mimics serotonin in the brain. And so he got the serotonin going. Um, he got the oxytocin going. The most amazing connection is felt with, with everyone in the room. Oxytocin is the same drug that's produced when uh, mothers are breastfeeding, when people are holding hands, when you're cuddling, when you're having sex or when you're listening to a Boris Johnson speech. Um, and he got the dopamine going as well. The dopamine is the thing where we recognize that patterns are developing in speech. Of course, he's using the rhetorical pattern there of repetition. Now, repetition is one of the ways that we connect with the emotional brain. Of course, this is something that Churchill did so, so well with his, we shall fight them on the beaches, we shall fight them on the landing grounds, we shall fight them on the streets. Every time that we hear that, once we've picked up the pattern, we get a little squirt of dopamine going in, in the brain. This is something there was, um, Fiona, you put on Facebook the other day about why we enjoy music. The, and that was all about dopamine. And it was that thing about when the chorus comes, you, you're waiting for it to come, you recognize it, and then you're like, boom, like that. And the dopamine kicks in as the chorus comes. And it's likewise with rhetorical rhythms that you build up in speech. So you build up a rhythm like that, and people are getting a bit of a high on it.